We're joined now by Jesse Scott, head coach of the Wheaton Thunder, following the second round NCAA playoff game, Central 30, Wheaton 28. Coach, obviously it's a very hard fought game, you know, emotional, tough ending on the last play. What are your thoughts on the way things went down today? Yeah, first and foremost, my, my hat's off to Central and congratulations on the victory. Obviously they, they played a heck of a game and uh, Blaine Hawkins was on today, had an outstanding performance, a, a ton of yards. I'm really proud of our team and the way that they've competed. If there's one thing that we've wanted to be about through the entirety of this year, it's relentless effort, and it's about playing until that clock strikes triple zeros at the end of the game. And I think our players did that, and so I'm very proud of them for the way that they competed through it all. Obviously, it wasn't enough to win, but I'm really proud of the level with which we competed. I thought your defense played outstanding today, you know, despite pretty gaudy numbers from Hawkins, but you picked him off a couple of times, knocked away a lot of balls that I've seen get by defenders this year. You guys were flying all over the field today. Yeah, they were doing an outstanding job. Um, obviously, at the end of the day, there's a couple things here and there that we would love to have back. I think we got a lot of pressure on Blaine through the course of the day, but there were some opportunities to bring him down that we didn't quite make. Uh, I'm proud of the way that we, we played in the back half. We had quite a few pass breakoffs. We had the two picks, which are obviously really significant. One that stopped a, a red zone drive in the second quarter that was a really big deal in the, the scope of the game and the way it was playing out at that point in time. And your offense didn't didn't quit either. You had a big drive late in the game when you were down by three to take the lead, a third and 12 play where Luke scrambled out of the pocket, made a great throw, and then just a terrific catch for a touchdown there to, to take the lead. Yeah, Terrell Brown made two back-to-back -back plays that were outstanding on that drive and, and we knew that there were going to be some opportunities for uh, him, him to take advantage and we had some things that were called for him that first conversion was not something necessarily by design we knew we were going to have to have some great scramble drill opportunities that we'd convert through the course of the week and so we had practiced those and that was good execution of the rules that we teach in our scramble drill and then he was able to uh, make a, a circus catch on the touchdown on that very next play which was was uh, outstanding and and proud of Terrell for, for making that play. You obviously had a lot of kids that came back after missing 2020. You had no season last year that were fifth-year guys. What's been your early message to your guys as you try to – it's a heartbreaking ending for this program. Yeah. Um, probably most importantly, It's been a really challenging last two years in a lot of different ways. And th there's not a, a group of fifth and sixth year seniors that I would pick to, I, I would have handpicked every single one of these guys uh, for, for the first season at the, the head of this program. And I'm so appreciative of the way that they've in, invested, the way they've bought into what we are about and what we stand for from a, a, as far as a program perspective is we want to be about excellence in everything. And a lot of people recognize that, that we stand for excellence on the field. We, we win a lot of games, and that's important, and that's got to continue to be, and, and we, we want to take a step forward in that regard. But what's unseen by a lot of people is the sincerity and the, the commitment to excellence and everything else. We, we got a great group of guys who are motivated from an academic perspective, but most importantly, this is a, a group of guys who are sold out for their relationship with Jesus, and they want to glorify him with who they are in everything, including the way that we play football, including the way that we win, and including the way that we lose. And um, I'm so appreciative of who they are, the way that they've embraced the different challenges at hand through the, the course of, of this year, their motivation to get better, the leadership that they possessed. And th this group leaves in a, a tremendous legacy in our program and, and something that we will be able to build off of going forward. Final score, Central 30, Wheaton 28. Thunder head coach Jesse Scott, thanks so much for your time, Coach. Thank you.